Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Bot Podcast. We are back with another quick hitch. Um, one card to get into, the MTK Global Fight Night card. Uh, a stunning upset in that card, I guess you could call it stunning. Um, Sean McComb, we undefeated prospect, um, quit unexpectedly. I don't know why. Uh, he was doing well. You can see he was winning rounds, but he was losing the battle. But before we get into that, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Smash the thumbs up. Share on all forms of social media. It's quick hits. Uh, we come to you twice a day with two shows a day. Uh, just eight to ten minutes. This is the first show. We'll do another show late tonight. Uh, we'll, we'll do a show on Burchell and Valdez. Um, Burchell made weight. Looked totally drained. But we'll get into that tonight. This show uh, is completely about the MTK Global Card. And uh, the stunning upset in, uh, I don't want to use the word stunning uh, because McComb is pretty unproven, but the upset uh, that Gavin Gwynn scored over uh, Sean McComb. Um, Gwynn got absolutely destroyed by James Tennyson not that long ago. Um, he looked like he, you know, didn't really belong. Um, I don't know if this speaks more of... McComb, who looked well, like I said, he looked like he was winning rounds, but losing the battle, and it was like, could he make it the distance? Um, and then it became abundantly clear that he probably was going to run out of gas, but he was still coming forward, firing shots. Um, the bloody affair. Um, look, there's a lot to like about McComb. I'm, I'm sure he'll be back to some degree. He throws quick combinations, and then he gets out of range. Um, he throws a beautiful lead left hook. He's got good footwork. Um, again, he, he knows how to throw punches and get out of range. Um, he stands against the ropes too much. He was standing in with Gavin Gwynn. I'm not saying Gavin Gwynn's the biggest puncher in the world, but there was no reason for him to stand in with him. He could circle around him and use his skills and his speed to outbox him, but for some reason he was content with just standing in with him, which I, I thought was a terrible idea, and it proved to be the case. Um. McComb needs to stay on his bicycle, stay off the ropes, um, and, and stick to the jab. Um, I don't know if it was a fatigue issue from the beginning. Perhaps he doesn't have the best gas tank. Again, McComb is a guy that is pretty unproven. Not that Gwyn's the greatest fighter in the world, but he, he's battle-tested. He's been in with other guys before. Um well, well, Look, again, I, this is not to knock McComb, but Gwyn uh, just broke him down. And there wasn't much left at the end of the day. Um, who's the classier boxer, McComb? Who's got more skills, McComb? But this is a battle of attrition. A and like I said, Gwyn was losing rounds, but he was winning the battle. You could see he was breaking him down to the body, and, and McComb was trying to fire back. He was. And then he quit unexpectedly. In a fight, I had him up on. I think most people, what was your scorecards if you watched it? Did you have McComb up? Because I did. You could see he was wearing down. He was starting to get sloppy from range. Or he was landing shots because Gwyn is not a good, Gavin Gwyn is not a good defensive fighter. And McComb was sloppy as he was, is still quicker, and was landing sloppy shots from the outside. Not a whole lot of stank on him at that point. Um, but he would you can see he was wearing down, but he was still in the fight. That's why him quitting at the end of that round was so improbable. I, I just didn't see that happening. Um, he, he shaked his, shook the ref, you know, shook his hand up to the ref that he didn't want anymore. That's not a good sign, guys. Um, we saw Dubois do something earlier. You know, we saw, um, I can't. Yeah, Dubois was the one. So Dubois got upset. Then Warrington gets upset, right? It's it's not a great time to be a prospect from the UK. I'll tell you that. Uh, well, not that Warrington was prospect, world champion, with a couple title defenses, but 
Bruce Rogers is getting upset right now. Uh, I, I know this was uh, upset by another Brit, as was Dubois, but um, McCall was a guy that was high on a lot of people's radar. And this loss, again, it's not that he doesn't do things well. He does things well. But it's the, the things that he can fix. It, it seemed like he wasn't mentally there, like he was sitting and trading with them. He could be coaxed into Gwyn's fight, which he shouldn't have been. I, he's got to go back to the drum board, and he's got to learn to stick to the game plan, and he's got to get sharper from the outside, and he's got to improve that gas tank. This is a lot to improve on, but there's a, there's a good working base there. Now, on the undercard, um, there was a, a Pierce O'Leary. Uh, am I saying that right? The Irish fighter um, with MTK Global. Boy, now that guy has some skill. Um, I, I want to get he, he, He's... Pretty up and down. Um, I mean, he's, he's pretty mobile. He, he doesn't stand up and down a whole lot. He gets out of the way. He dodges shots really well. Uh, he establishes range and distance really well. He's quick. He rolls with punches. He throws. He fires off quick athletic combinations. Gets out of the way. This guy, Pierce O'Leary, I hadn't seen him before, but um, he's a 140-pounder. Same weight class as um, Dalton Smith. I think he's a better prospect than Dalton Smith. Uh, you had not got a chance to go watch Pierce O'Leary. That's somebody you need to keep an eye on. Um, he's athletic, and then he's got a strong base, too. He, he doesn't really look like how he fights, right? He looks like a stocky guy that would just come forward, but he's athletic. He moves well. He pivots. He rolls with shots. Um, he needs to use his jab a little more because when he does use I'm not saying he didn't use his jab. He uses his jab and uses it well. He needs to use it more because he's got a good jab. He's got good pop. You can see he's physically strong. There's a lot to like in that kid. Um especially the way he, he uses his strength to maintain distances, kind of like Billy Joe Saunders does. Um, uh, that's kind of what I saw. I saw a young Billy Joe Saunders, but with pop. That, that's a lot to like. Um, you know, in a 140-pound frame as opposed to a 160, 168-pound frame. Uh, I thought the skills were good. I really did. Um, let me know what you guys think. Were you disappointed in Sean McCall? I was looking forward to watching him fight. I thought this would be a decent test for him, but he would ultimately pass it. Um, and I was really, really impressed with uh, Pierce O'Leary. I thought that was phenomenal. Um, that's a guy definitely to keep an eye on. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Remember, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, two episodes a day. That um, We'll be back later today with a show on Burchell and Valdez. We'll break that down for you. I'll tell you why I think Burchell is one of the most overrated. I'm sorry. Why Burchell is one of the most underrated guys and why I think Valdez is one of the most overrated guys. Burchell's underrated. Valdez is overrated. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Hit the like uh, and subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you get notified every time we do a show. Um, it is February 19th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. We need to make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. From Texas to the world, thank you. And God. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.